welcome back to the kitchen into apron strings. If this is your first time here, hang around. We're going to make some good stuff and then just keep coming back. Please hit that subscribe button and hit the little bell to be notified when I upload new videos. Now that I got my commercial done, we're going to talk about what we're going to do today. I've always been intrigued with anything to do with uh, England, with London, the British people. I've always wanted to go on a vacation there, never have and probably never will, but I can go through the pages of a magazine or a book or somebody's review of a trip and I enjoy it every time. And today I'm going to make, I like, um, I'll I just like to add uh, sauces to what I'm eating. I like ketchup on my french fries and ketchup on my pinto beans and Sometimes I like some sauce on my steak, so I like sauces. If you could see in that pantry right there, it's full of bottles of sauces and marinades. Well, I was watching Paul's Rule of Thumb a few days ago, and he made a sauce that's referred to as the English brown sauce, or they call it the brown sauce, or it's the HP sauce, House of Parliament. Sounded wonderful, and I just wish I could have smelled what was coming out of his kitchen. So I'm going to make that today. It has lots of ingredients and it's worth prepping and getting ready to make it. I'm sure I'll let you know how it tastes Put when I get it done. Four apples, three small onions, and that might be a little bit more than they planned on, but how do you know what they consider small? So I've just got onions going in. This is my cup and a half of uh, the white wine vinegar the apple juice and the orange juice. I needed three-fourths of a cup of water. I need a garlic clove. My dates. It took a while to get all this little stuff prepped. Prunes. The syrup. I've heard so many people talk about how good this is and they wish they could bring some home or if they brought it home they were sad when it was all gone. So now I'm going to get to see what they've talked about for so long. Okay, and now the Tim Run. I'm going to save my water to put down in there. And I ordered this off of Amazon because I didn't have anywhere around here that I could get it. I guess that's enough out of there. I'm going to put that right there for now because I'll use it in a minute down in here to get all the goody off of it. Okay, I'm going to get this on the stove and it has to cook for 25 minutes. I'll bring y'all back and show you what it looks like. And then I'll whiz it up with my immersion blender and we'll go with the next step. Okay, I've got it over here on the stove and I'm just going to bring this up to a boil and then I'm going to cover it and let it simmer for 25 minutes. Okay, it's been simmering for 25 minutes and I'm going to take the camera off but I'm going to use my immersion blender in it and then I'll bring you back and we'll do the next step. Okay, now I need to add the spices and stir really well. Mmm, now it smells wonderful. I need, I've got it uh, whizzed up with the immersion blender, and I think I've got this incorporated well. And now I need to cover it and let it simmer for another uh, 35 minutes. Okay, it has simmered now for 35 minutes. It's cooked down a lot. And now I'm adding my apple cider vinegar and it's going to simmer for five more minutes and then I'm going to taste it and see if it needs a little more sweetness. Okay, it's ready for me to start jarring it up. So I've got some quarter pints and some half pints that I want to put it in. Try to put this where y'all can see what I'm doing. Okay. Mm. 
And I'm using my steam canner for the first time today, y'all. I'm excited about that. I'm going to fill a few of these and then I'll uh, get the lids on them and we'll get them in the canner. When I get them all in there, I'll show y'all what I've got. Okay, I'm going to wipe my rims down with vinegar. Make sure I don't have any of this sticky goodness on them. And this will water bath for 15 minutes. It does smell good. And it does taste good. I just uh, tasted of some of it. Get my lids on. Get some of it on into the canner. I've got the canner waiting on me over here. I try to put them in there, one going one way and one going another, but it doesn't always work. And you just want these fingertip tight, and I will tighten them a little bit in a minute when I get all the rings on. Then I'll snug them down a little bit. Okay, put my lid back on and let it sit here for a minute till I get done. I'll bring y'all back. Okay, my steam canner has been going for 15 minutes, so I'm going to cut the fire off and let it sit here for five minutes before I take my jars out. Let y'all see what they look like. And they're already starting to pop, so that's a pretty sound. I had more than I needed in here, so I took my big pot. Let me see. See it over here? Well, I don't know if you can see it or not. I took this big pot and I put jar lids in the bottom. And I made a water bath canner out of it. So I didn't want to have to wait and do that one. So I just engineered me another one. Okay. <clears throat> I got six half pints and 12 quarter pints. And then I have a little bit left over to sample and try. Just that little dab is what I had left. To me, it tastes like a cross between an A1 sauce and I don't know what. It's good. It's very good. Y'all, it was fun to make something brand new to me, and it is very, very good. The reason I put a lot of it up in the quarter pints is so I can share it, and then if people like it, they can make some themselves. It's a little bit tart, and uh, I did add a little bit more of the, is it trickle, the syrup? and that helped, but um, it's something I would make again, and you wouldn't put it on everything. I told my daughter, I said, you could open a, a can of pork and beans and put some of this in it, and it would almost taste like baked beans. It just has a different flavor. It's very good. I don't know how to tell y'all about it because I've never tasted what they have in England, but I know that this one's good. So it's a lot of stuff on that recipe, but you know, get your prepping done and you can make you a batch of it and have some to put in your little gift baskets for Christmas. And it, it may be something new to you. And if it's something you tasted on a trip over there and you wish to goodness you had some, well, you can make it now. The good Lord bless and keep y'all. Come back here in a day or two and we'll be doing something else. Maybe new to me, maybe old to me and new to you, but it'll be fun.